Today on Draw Stuff Real Easy, I'm going to show you how to draw a cafetiere coffee pot type thing. And I'm going to start off by thinking that's going to be right down the center of the whole coffee pot. And we just want to build up lots of ellipses because it's a cylinder basically and that's what the whole thing is about. So we have an ellipse at the top, straight lines down to the bottom and then we want to copy that and to get a bit of um, perspective it might be a little bit deeper in fact that curve. Now I'm going to have kind of the the spout is going to be about here so I'm going to do something like that just so I know what's going on and I'm going to actually just put the rest of that ellipse in there so I can see what's happening. It's a glass cylinder after all. So here I'm going to imagine there's going to be this metal band coming around and this needs to be a very similar ellipse as that, a very similar ellipse as that. But what happens is that this image goes to a vertical, which is coming down there. So we're going to curve that around there and curve that around to meet that. <laughs> this, it's, this is very complicated, isn't it? This is the ellipse. So this is going to be the other half of this bit of stuff going around the other side. So it's a bit of copper or steel, whatever color that you choose. <laughs> some are copper and some are steel. And that will be going around like that. Now here it comes out a little bit at an angle, like that, and we want that angle to be about like that, and then it's going to fold back on itself underneath. So this is like the little foot that keeps it up off the table and stops it making marks on your table. So you're going to have a, a very thin, so you can hardly see down this side, you might see a little bit coming out like that, and that will again come um, with a little kind of bend to make a foot at the bottom there. The handle will be coming out there like that and in fact that will be sort of going forward like that and that will be coming underneath. And now we need to put the lid, now we need to put a, a lid on the top and I'm going to make this fairly easy just by making that ellipse a little bit taller so that we turn that into a dome. And we know that this is the centre, and so the centre of that dome is going to be about there. And that can sort of pop out into another smaller ellipse on the top like that. We're going to see a bit of the... We're going to see a bit of the plunger here, so I'm just going to draw that ellipse there. And that'll be a kind of a wiggly, wiggly line. And let's have the coffee um, in around about here. So, so this will we'll need to have an ellipse in there. <laughs> I don't know why I call this draw stuff real easy. Let's think about what's the nearest thing to you. I think probably the knob on the top, the knob of the plunger, I think is probably going to be the nearest thing. We come down a little bit like that, up a little bit and then around, which means then I can Put the edge of that knob in there like that and then you can bring that down and have a little bit of a, a washer kind of thing in around there and then we can draw in carefully going around following around as we go we can draw the dome on the top now here i'm going to draw the lip but we have this kind of little lip around the top of the glass there like that and that is going to come into there like that and then we're going to want the spout to come down we really want that that's a bit of a wobble there isn't it we want to try and keep this straight because that's how, how it is and then i think i'm going to start about here and i'm going to come up and follow this curve around to there so that then I can bring the side of the glass down and then we're going to want that to be just slightly wider there because there's a thickness to the metal band that is coming down here to create this foot at the bottom and the strap that holds the whole thing in and that will come around nicely to there 
this will come down nicely to there. Now I think we need to put in the plunger, which is going to be just a piece of metal coming down into the coffee. And we're going to draw the coffee in there, just not quite reaching the edge of the glass. So we're going to want to have a little bit of, oh, <laughs> we want to have a little bit of white between the coffee and the glass. So this is the kind of the thickness of the glass that you're seeing. And then also I'm going to draw in here and I'll just kind of dot those lines away and you get those, that kind of spring that comes around and you sort of see a bit of that attached to this. You see a bit of that showing through the coffee on the glass. Now here we are going to want to have that coming around like that there so that we can now build in this little bit which will be that foot coming in there and that has a kind of a thickness to it and that's going to be quite dark in there and then we can attach the handle on the side like that. Now I'm going to go like that and then bring it up the other way like that. You're not really going to see a bit of that there but I'm going to put that in just to kind of make you feel it's not falling over and I'm going to put a bit of shading in there. When you're absolutely sure the ink is dry you can erase all those pencil lines and no one will ever know how you planned it and got it to look so realistic. Now here we're going to have a kind of a thickness there and I'm just going to do something like that and make that a bit darker inside. We're going to see the underneath, uh, I'm going to put a bit of darkness in there. We're going to see the underneath of the plunger here. So I'm going to kind of draw that in there like that. And because this is shiny, isn't it? I'm going to add a little bit of shininess there. Actually, I'm going to change to a brush pen here because I need to draw sort of more uh, definite kind of dark bits in here. And I'm going to draw some sort of darkness there. That's the dog next door. And I'll draw a bit of darkness there as well. And then I am going to draw a line down here. And that's going to be, actually, I don't, I don't know, I have two lines just for fun. And I'm going to shade all that in dark. So this is all the coffee. And then I'm going to shade this handle as well. And again, I'm going to leave a little bit of whiteness there for reflection in the handle, because it's a shiny handle. And again here, I'm going to do that on the top and I'm going to leave a bit of whiteness for shiny reflection there too. In fact, I'm going to make that just slightly wider so it all looks more even. Then here, I'm going to add a bit of kind of shininess and maybe a bit of kind of shininess there too and along like that. Making sure that you don't go right up to the top because you've got the kind of the you got the thickness of the metal along the top there. And then I think we'll have a bit of thickness, a bit of darkness on there. And we're going to leave this sort of top of the coffee is going to be dark as well. But I'm going to leave a little sort of whiteness around the edge so you get a kind of delineation of the sort of area of where it is. And then I think I might just put some sort of shading-y kind of stuff in there too. And I'm going to put a bit of shading in there. And we need some shading on this plunger as well. So I'm going to make that side just slightly darker. And then we can put it on the table by putting a line behind it. And horizon line. And then if we have some shadow underneath it like that.
then that will help to put it firmly on the table. And I think I might just add a little bit more in there like that as well. And there you go, how to draw a cafetiere. Yeah. Thanks for watching it. Keep coming back to draw stuff real easy for lots more how to draw videos. In the meantime, keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Practice, practice, practice. And I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye bye.